guys welcome back to my channel your girl is finally back with another tutorial yes y'all been gone i've been gone for a minute actually but i had things to handle so i'll tell you guys more in the video so don't forget to like comment subscribe and keep on watching you guys so i went ahead and started wiping down her face with a makeup wipe and then i moisturized her face with my clinique moisturizer love this love this moisturizer y'all it's literally perfect for every skin combination oily dry perfect then i took my one size primer i love a good matte beat i love how this primer keeps my clients faces matte i love it love it love it love it all right, y'all, then I went ahead and started on her brows. I applied powder first to remove any excess oil off her brows. And then I went ahead and used my Morphe Java pencil to fill in her brows. Y'all, your girl's been gone. I want to explain why. I am now a college graduate, y'all. I graduated with my bachelor degree in finance. And, y'all, it took a lot. And I needed some time to really enjoy my time in college because I was on campus I attended Florida Moore University in Miami so I just wanted to enjoy my last year I'm sorry y'all I did record some clips of me going on and stuff and I will get I I now have time to edit those videos for you guys so I will be dropping them but don't worry y'all your girl is back I can't wait to take YouTube serious I know you guys are missing me you guys been texting me saying what story that I want I need to come back on YouTube when your girl is back and I hope you guys enjoy this video again <laughs> but I'm pretty sure right now I'm carving on her eyebrows I forgot one concealer y'all I am so sorry I recorded this on around May 18 so please don't hurt your girl but I'll try to remember the products I used Alright y'all, so now I'm taking the foundation closer to her skin complexion and applying that in the front of her eyebrows. I found out that it makes it easier for me to blend. So if you guys want, you guys can try it. Sometimes the concealer be drying up before I even get there. And by the time I blend it out and then I start, I get to my contour process, it's already like, I don't know, it's like, like to dry it up. Like I feel like I, apply, I have to apply more product than I would have to, if that makes sense. But yeah, that's why I did that. So right here I am applying brown eyeshadow to her eyes. I'm just taking the Juvia's Place Deep Dark Bronzer and just applying the two browns on her eyelid as her eyeshadow color. Usually when my clients book this, it's called the Brown Neutral Exam. I either use the concealer method or just the powder method. Depends on what look I'm going for, but since it is for her graduation, I went with the powder. It gives more of a subtle look, but this look was beat, y'all. <laughs> Okay, y'all, don't kill me, but her foundation does not look this crazy in person. For some reason, my camera, the way it does, I notice when I'm recording, the client can look darker than usual. Or, like, it has, like, that reddish tone it just throws on my client faces. And then as soon as I apply the foundation, it looks weird. But I promise you, this was our skin complexion. Everything will pull together in the end, then you guys will see. And I'll add pictures just to prove myself for you guys. But... Yes, I think I took the NARS New Caledonia for the inner part of her face since it was lighter. And for around her face, I took NARS Igisu. Not Igisu, what am I saying? Y'all, Igisu. Igisu, that's the best way I can pronounce it. But I took that for around perimeters of her face.
All right, y'all. This is what I mean when I tell my clients to look up. Like, please look up. And my clients, they don't be looking up for real, but this is my returning client, and she always listens. <laughs> so, I took my Anastasia Deep Peach Powder just to set under her eyes and bake also. I don't even think I said. I think I just went straight to baking because she got more of oily skin, and I was just trying to get straight to the point. It doesn't cost any flashback or anything. I feel like I use less product if you ask me, but yeah y'all right, yeah, so i went ahead and took my juvia's place dark bronzer and i used the two shades to bronze up her face i think later on in the video i deepened the bronzer and i started to contour with my black radiance ebony powder Like I said in the video guys, she had more of oily skin so I went ahead and took my Laura Mercier translucent powder and patted that around the areas that didn't have no powder but again does not have flashback the way I use my powders. There's no way my clients can get flashback, I'm sorry. <laughs> but that's a fact. But yeah y'all. I think this is when I started adding the contour, or was I adding blush? I'm not too sure, but I was doing one of those things. Alright y'all, here comes the fun part. I started lining her lips. Wait, first I wipe off my client's lips to remove any excess makeup. I lined it with the Wet n Wild pencil in Summer Brown. And then I took my two shades, Caught You Bare Naked Lip Gloss from Wet n Wild and my NYX Fortune Cookie. I mixed those two together. And at the end, I applied clear gloss. Y'all, it's always a process when I do my lips. I just love a nude lip. I do it on all my clients almost. So another way to avoid flashback is taking your pressed powder, your skin complexion, and setting the powder, not sweeping, but setting it into your skin. It leaves a flawless look under your eyes. It just looks very beautiful when you do it. And it's way easier that way also. Therefore, you won't have to build up too much product when you sweep in it. I went ahead and started highlighting with my Fenty Diamond Bomb highlighters. I do not use other highlighters. I always use these two on my clients because it leaves a glittery effect. I haven't been in the glowy effect lately, but I'll get back in my mojo eventually, y'all. But anyways, we're using Fenty. I use like three sprays, the Morphe Black Spray, the Charlotte Tailsberry Spray, and I use my one size beauty spray for her face. So I be spraying, okay? Especially it's graduation, it is hot. I need my clients to be set, okay? Well, I'm all done. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.